Greetings, travelers. Hugh Salogia to you all. Hey, Revan Saber, my man. That's right. Pre-party time. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Oh, man. I am ready. I am ready for the closeout stream tonight. There's only one way to pre-game, and that is drawing some sketch cards. <laughs> Beautiful Saturday today. Oh, the weather was wonderful. Did a nice walk. Had delicious dim sum. Mm. Mm -mm. I caught up with a friend of mine. I hadn't seen him many, many years. We were both uh, big kaiju fans. We, we, that's how we bonded. Uh, actually, we studied abroad uh, in China together. And I hadn't seen him in so long. And of course, you know, he, <laughs> what always spurs us talking again is when a new monster movie comes out so he was like did you see the new monster movie <laughs> so uh you know and, and he's equally passionate about that stuff so uh so yeah so we caught up had some dim sum like uh, like it was the old days back when we were in china so it was it was a really good time delicious stuff i had some uh dim sum that i i, I never had before so delicious excellent 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 and now i'm ready to draw ready to draw and who am i going to draw primor going to draw two cards of primor today our four armed old beast okay so before we do that what is this all for you say what does it all mean basil well uh we have the blood realm dawn of the wolf campaign ending tonight in nine hours what a ride it has been thank you all of you. Um, I say it every time, and I feel like it's never enough. Thank you, all of you, for supporting this campaign and sharing. Uh, can't wait. So many new characters that are making their debut in this new chapter. Um, I found a new love, I have to say. Uh, poor, poor Chiron. Uh, it's going to be a love triangle between Primor and Chiron Morvel. <laughs> but shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him. He's got that flaming sword, you know? I mean, he can cause some damage with that thing. Siege Breaker is a beast. Okay, so nine hours left, 172 backers. Woo, wow. Unbelievable. The closeout stream is also, also going to be an art auction on the Alterna Comics channel. And I can't wait. It's going to be really, really cool. <laughs> Always look forward to spending some time with Pete. And it's going to be a nice celebration. And I just can't thank you guys enough. I am going to deliver on the best comic I can possibly make. Let me tell you. Uh, it's the best I can make. So if you haven't backed, the link is in the, what do you call, uh, pinned to the chat. That's the right thing. It's pinned to the chat. All right. Doubles my chances of getting one, <laughs> Revan says. Yeah. So, uh, yes, yeah, so these will be available on either tonight's auction or tomorrow's auction. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So, we're going to get right into this. Which one? I feel like this one. I just want to... I'm not quite sure what Primor is holding here. He has one of his fists, the, the left bottom fist up. And I just imagine something, maybe like a tentacle, broken tentacle. I figured this could be like a two-parter. Here we see a fight. We see teeth here, and we see, like, tentacles that he's wrestling with. But then here, maybe we see the broken tentacle, like, that thing's dead. I just imagine him covered in kind of, like, guts and whatnot. So, I don't know. I feel like I want... Hmm. Now let's do this. I guess since this is first, we should probably do this one first. So, um, so, yeah. And, uh, Revan, it was you, right, who told me that you saw the latest Godzilla Kong movie, right? I think it was you, right? You said it was, right? I think you're the one who told me and made that comparison that he reminds you of, um, Conan the Barbarian. If I'm mistaken, let me know. I thought it was you, but I, I could be wrong. You know, I know so many Revan Sabres. <laughs> uh, Bach Winkle, congrats on funding. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Oh, appreciate it so, so much. I'm just so excited to now deliver the story to you guys and get this going. It's like, uh, 
you know, the it's the finance part is done. Oh, it wasn't you, Revan. Oh, I could have sworn it was you. I'm sorry. I said that last stream. I thought that was you. Okay. Well, someone in the chat will remind me that it was me, Geronimo. How could you forget me? Uh, well, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so, yes, uh, thank you, uh, Bachwinkle, again. Um, it's it's such a relief when you really start to say, okay, now I can, I can focus now on writing and making it, you know, uh, you know, obviously, this is the world we live in. Finances is a big thing, you know, and the cost of uh, making a comic book, the production of it. it unfortunately, these things they cost. And um, that's why it's so huge that now it's like that's done. And now I can just focus on the writing and focus on the lettering and just focus on the fun part. <laughs> you know what I mean? Focus on the most fun part. We have people who are ready to take the adventure. So that's just, oh, I can't tell you what a weight it is. Huge weight. That's why Pete wasn't kidding. He was joking when he said, man, Rob's going to go into a coma. But he's going to sleep for 48 hours once we hit the stretch goal. Oh, forget it. When we get that, I'm going to I'm gonna just hibernate. <laughs> but while still working on the book, of course. Oh, man. Just so thankful and I don't know. The weather helps too. It's just so beautiful out. I was just counting my blessings, man. Thinking about, man, I'm very fortunate. And sometimes you gotta stop and think, man. You know, gotta gotta count your blessings. Really do. All right, so let's get some of this here. Want to get this hand here? Hey, Wayne, what's going on? He goes, hail all. Hail all. Yeah, Wayne, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we could, I gotta do that thing with the clothes. I didn't even think about that yet, man. Uh, I'll talk to you. Maybe we could do something for one of the auctions tonight. If, you know, if you say, oh, you know, you'll throw in that package. I gotta see. I've never done a raffle thing before, so that's, uh, that's, yeah. Uh, let's see. If the statue unlocks, is it included with the $100 tier, or do you have to add it? The 100 uh, uh, the, the statue would be its own perk once we unlock it. Once we unlock it. Um, so the, the stretch goal would help the, basically, is the funding for that statue. Um, it, it's already sculpted, but, you know, just to get a for the funding that I put out for developing the statue. And, uh, but that'll be an unlock perk. So it wouldn't be part of the 100 tier. The 100 tier, I think we only have a couple left of those. Yeah, let me know if that makes sense, Bachwinkle. If you need me to repeat, if I, if I did a poor job explaining that, just let me know. I, I will, I will, uh, I will redo that <laughs> in case it wasn't clear. Okay. Got it. Okay, got it. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, we'll, uh, I think we can do it. I think we can unlock that thing. Certainly do. All right. Let's see. And of course, I hope you guys are having a good day. I don't know where you guys are, are living in the part of the world, the country, but I hope you have good weather. Hope you're surrounded by some positive people. And that's it. All right. This is, this is cool. <laughs> This is cool. All right, so let's let this dry a second. Let's see, in the meantime, should we put the paint down for this bad boy? Mm hmm. Now, let's not do two at a time. Let's not get crazy here. 
No worries, up to you, man. Figured I had an extra set of books anyway. Uh, giveaway to a backer during closeout stream, up to you. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it out. I think that's a great idea. I'll talk to Pete on figuring out, like, what is the best way to do that. I'm sure he has experience with that stuff. Some of this is new to me. <laughs> I gotta be real here. Some of it is totally new to me. Like, I still gotta get on that membership thing. I'm definitely going to do like a Broccoli Rob thing. Because I know some of you are going to want some hand-drawn little emojis. So I'll take the time. I, what's great is that next week, uh, it's spring break at the university where I work. At least one of them. Uh, so I'll have extra time to, to create some of those things and make it fun. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right. Actually, that is, that is dry. Oh, my cat is in the sink. Hey, get... Hey. Oh, one second. I don't believe this. Crazy cat. Look at that. She was pulling the drain out. Pulling the drain out. All these toys you can see. All these toys. If you saw my little space, there's a toy here, scratch post here. No, I... No, servant. Because I'm the servant. The human is the servant at the end of the day. I want the sink drain, you fool. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, Wayne. I know you can do a random number generator. Uh, but I know nothing. That's a good idea. Okay, maybe I could like do a special generator on which backer will get this extra thing. Oh, that's a great idea. So backer number, and then it'll go and ding, and then whoever that number is. Oh, that's that's cool. Okay, maybe I'll ask Bancroft how he did it. That's a great idea. Okay, awesome. A seer of all that is obvious. Cats, gotta love them. It's the law. It certainly is. It certainly is. <laughs> all right. Okay, we're good to go. So this is dry enough. All right, so I imagine this as like the point of view of the monster. That's what I'm imagining. So Primor is wrestling with some tentacled creature here. Okay, and a couple of you already sent in your um, sketch card commissions, for those of you who, who um, chose that perk. Ah, yeah, man, a couple of you guys like Primor, which I'm excited because you're going to see him, a whole issue of him, in the upcoming issue 18 uh, 17 excuse me excuse me so yeah that's great glad you guys dig him you'll be seeing more of him especially now that uh if you see uh there's a reason why i'm trying to get comfortable drawing this character now there is a reason Okay, so let's get a nice little wash going on Primor. Let's see, I hope I can do both, but I don't want to rush. Don't want to rush. Okay, so let's get some. There we go. I like the pencil sketch. Shame I have to. I want to do this light. I don't want to lose some of that. I really like the way I did the pencil sketch. I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just saying. Um, it's a good. It's a good guide. That I kind of have already. Okay. So again. Probably looks like a bunch of mush. Does this guy even know what he's doing? I ask myself that question every day. Totally normal. All right. Here we go. And let's get a big fist right here. Huge fist. Nothing like some good old foreshortening. 
Uh, let's see. It's your horn. Toot all you want. <laughs> hey, anything goes. Well, I guess you're right. Gotta stay humble, though. Gotta stay humble. Cannot forget where we came from. But thank you. <laughs> I guess I'm allowed sometimes, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man, yeah. Let's get a nice big fist here. Nice big fist for this guy. I ended up... I was trying to figure out. I was like, what am I going to buy? I need to buy some type of monster movie. So, uh... I ended up getting the 76 Kong because I told you, for some reason, that one's been on my mind after I watched it. Because it's, uh, it's on Pluto for free. You can watch it for free. But what's funny is that I didn't really just get it for the movie. The, the uh, oh, uh, Len 3, if I get a sketch card, good to see you from the campaign. Is it better for you if I send you what I want uh, now or wait? Oh, you could send me now. Whatever works. If you know what you want, I'm making the list. Some people sent it in right away. Some people started to send it in. No, you, you're whenever you're ready. I mean, eventually I will be sending out a big email, but if you know now, you know, please go for it. Go for it. You can let me know. And then as soon as the campaign, once we're done um, this week, you know, because the campaign will be finished, I'm going to start doing all those live. make this a little bit more opaque or maybe we'll make nah yeah let's let's i feel like it all should all be fists if he's kind of wrestling with a creature um oh, i lost my train of thought oh yeah so um i didn't buy it for the <laughs> uh like i'll probably watch the movie again you know because i heard there's a television cut that it comes with also, I'm probably just going to skip over the brutal death scene. It's probably the most violent Kong death I've ever seen. But it's the uh, the gorgeous, gorgeous artwork um, of the Steelbook. It's, I just think it's stunning. Um, the concept art for that 1976 edition uh, version is just, I love it. It's like hand-painted. Um, I was, I'm really impressed. I can show you. Let me see if I can find it. I just love the artwork. Love it. I love the artwork more than I love the movie, to be perfectly honest. But I was like, man, I need to like have that just to, you know, just to look at that and be inspired, you know, because great art is just in contagious. And I was looking at that and it's something that's funny as a kid. I was always crazy drawn to that, that poster. Uh, let me see, concept art. And of course, you know, it's like uh, expectations versus reality. You know, when you look at it, it looks so incredibly epic. Um, and then, you know, it, it looks great having a man in a suit, but it's just totally different. Yeah, look, look at the concept art is insane. All right, maybe I'll just share. I'll just share this here. Uh uh, Len3 says, awesome. I'll send you in the next couple of days. Can't wait for the statue to be unlocked. I'll be picking up one up for sure. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait either. I really can't. You know, and of course, it's going to be premium and it's going to be over five inches. It's like, it's weird. It's like, it's not just five inches. It's like just under six, but I feel weird calling it six because it's not, <laughs> you know, uh, but it's, it's, so it's a nice size. It's a nice size statue. And it's pretty wide too, especially you got the nice base. Hey, check this out. I've been just doing a deep dive in the freaking concept art for this. I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm just obsessed with the concept art. Come on, let's go. Look at this. It's just stunning artwork. Like, where can I, I... I would love to... I wish there was a book. This is one of my favorite shots. Look at that. This is him breaking the... I love his mouth here. And and, and the, the natives running. 
I just look like how expressive he is, you know? Whoever drew that, he's breaking the wall that, that the people kept, you know, they built. Oh, and this, this one's one of my favorites. And then this, look, this is him in New York, and now he's just wrecking everything here. It's gorgeous, and especially the face. It's like horror and sadness in him, you know? Oh, this one's great, too. Look at this concept art of him climbing the world trade. And again, I mean, like, the movie obviously is not nearly as epic. But I just love the concept art. But the suit, the man in the suit looks great. I just wish he fought more monsters. Oh, look at this one where he's destroying the train. I like how they, they, they brought that scene back from the original. Uh, it's just awesome. I don't know. I wish, I hope that there's a way maybe I could find, uh, I don't know if there is one where they did like a, see this they should have done. This, they were, they were foolish for not doing this. I don't care if it was men in suits. You know, they, they should have had Kong fighting. Um, they should have had him fighting some type of uh, dinosaur aside from the snake in that 76 version. But yeah, I'm just obsessed with the concept art. It is just crazy and plus how nice and sketchy I live for this stuff really really cool I found out that was what's his name Winston um oh here's spoilers this is concept art for when he dies look how gory they, I mean the scene is ridiculous. oh here's the one with him fighting the snake <laughs> look at that <laughs> I mispainted art someone owns this somewhere Someone has this. I want to know where it is. I'm obsessed with this image. Look at how absolutely crazy he looks. And again, you know, expectations versus reality. If only it looked like this in the film. <laughs> but, you know, it, it is what it is. I just love the concept art. It's so good. All right. All right. Rest in peace, Train. Yes, I wasn't sure if any of you have seen that before. Uh. Okay. Uh, 76 was a wild year for art. Certainly was. It's like an American flag factory exploded in culture, in culture for bicentennial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, how are we doing on this now? Yeah, this is... All right, this is dry enough. Let's see. I feel like I'm going to need a little bit... We're going to have to get a little bit... It's a little too small here. I don't think I'll have enough time to do both, so maybe one of them will have to be. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try. I'll try to. I'll try to get them both done for today. I'll try my best, guys. Like I said, I don't want to rush, so that's the biggest thing. Okay, that's good enough for me. Now we'll just carve stuff out with, um, we'll carve more detail out with our pen. Okay. All right. I'm thinking like nice dark, you know, black tentacles. All right, here we go. He is a bit hairy, our Primor character. Get our cheekbones. He does have beautiful cheekbones. Now, apes don't have this little thing in the middle, but I'm putting it to kind of differentiate mine a little bit. 
Because he is an old beast. One of the big gigantic kaiju type looking creatures. In Blood Realm. He's got to look a little angry. I mean, he is fighting a tentacle beast. I would be as well. Clearly ruining his day. Here we go. And we'll get the teeth later. There we go. I want our man jacked. Get a big juicy vein right there. <laughs> he is jacked. He's not playing around. With a name like Primor, if he's not ripped, I'll be disappointed. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to finally meet him. There's like two big reliefs. It's the relief of getting the funding for your project. And then, then when everything's finally out and being shipped out to everybody, that's going to feel just euphoric, my friends. Euphoric. It's funny. I've been drawing him with four fingers, five fingers. I think it's because I can't remember what I told Kier. <laughs> so I have to go back to my own drawing. It's okay. I'm a professional. I get the impression that Primor is an ill-tempered ape. I mean, you know. Yeah, the answer is yes. I can't deny it. He's a little ill-tempered. When you see what's going on in the lands of Mordron, um how they're all vying for power. It's a very tumultuous time. I mean, it's not a time of peace and prosperity, you know what I mean, during the reign of the old beast. These are massive creatures now. After that war with the dragons, there's so few of them left that now they're just obsessed with these, these little creatures, these little humanoids who are worshipping them, giving them sacrifice, giving them all this attention. Making statues dedicated to them, making temples. You know, it's it's hard to say. You know, I mean, hey, I, w I want all of them to do it. I don't want them to stop. What do you mean you're gonna go leave and worship that one instead? Yes, thank you to all in chat who funded. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, thank you everybody in the chat who funded this this chapter. It's tremendous tremendous load off the shoulders i can't i can't even thank you all enough oh he's looking good uh i skipped bundle and just bought comics i'm not collecting i'm not buying a record player and the comics i read leave in little libraries when i'm done oh wow hey hey listen everybody does their thing anything goes you do your thing that's totally cool it's totally cool. I know people when they buy figures, they need to keep them in the box. I know people when they take them out of the box, they have to do it so carefully so the packaging is still there. <laughs> you know? And I, and I know people who just, you know, they take it out, throw out the box. It's, I don't know. It's just uh, everyone does their own thing. <laughs> so it's, hey, I think that's awesome. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, here we go. Here we go. I had a reference of myself. Uh, oh, did I have? Oh, I didn't have a. Re I thought I had a reference for myself for this one. I am mistaken. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to delete Th these pictures. Are incriminating. <laughs> My students can never see these photos. <laughs>
Cannot see me posing like a gorilla. Well, maybe they should. Okay, so what a one, two, three, four. Here I gave him four fingers, so I'm gonna have to stick with that, I just realized. So this will be let's have this part of the tentacle here. And we'll have the tentacle coming out. Some kind of octopus creature thing. I'm not sure yet. It's not like there's ever tentacles in Blood Realm. That's something we have to work on. Just kidding, you know that's a lie. Okay. He's looking good so far. Uh, let's see. Hey, a chimp work, exactly. Uh, let's see, swag cells. I always love the POV covered. Yeah, I agree. Uh, hail Geronimo from X-Land. Whoa, Dr. Mask. Very nice. Look at that. Good to see you, man. Oh, wait, we can get rid of the... F oh, no, I already had four fingers. That's right. Wow. I'm more angry. Let's make this... A bit more mass to it. Aha! I have a POV photo of the boxer, freak show fighter, Butterbean. It's next to my mint Chiron in garage. Oh, awesome. Huh. Oh, I saw her review of Blood Realm. I'm so honored that she liked it. That was an honor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I caught it. Awesome. Tremendous, man. Thank you so much for sharing. Blood Realm. That's huge. Okay, so now let's get the other arms. I would say Primor is like an ape Sasquatch with four arms. Let's get let's get another one here. All right, let's get another one here. Just coming for his face here. Uh, is this the stages of Primor? I guess so. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get... Okay, well, wait. We have to get... All right, so his hand... Oh. Anatomy. Darn anatomy.
Here we go. Arm there. All right. I wonder why we see a few forearm monsters, but we never see, I seem to see four-armed and four-legged monster. That's a good point. Probably because that would be exhausting work. <laughs> but you're right. Uh, I will take the challenge. I will take that challenge. Maybe I can make a different creature at Primor Fights that has four arms, four legs. Um, why not? Anything goes challenge accepted. But here's the question. Uh, will a... Hmm, you know what? We can do something cool like a Lamastu. Isn't that what they're called? Lamasu? They're the um, ancient Mesopotamian uh, deity creatures. Well, they're not deities, but they're uh, guardians of the emperor's palace. They have five legs, but they have many arms. Hmm. I gotta look. I don't know if they have any arms, but they have the head of a, of a man. Let's see. Let's see. We could get like a cool, weird looking Lamastu going on there. Uh, if you don't know those creatures, check them out. Oh, man. A forearm centaur. Oh, Lord. Well, I mean, I have the centaur. You know, uh, Argus. Um, oh, gosh. No, 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 horses. Oh, don't make me do it, Seer. Don't make me do it. Horses. It's so hard. Why are horses so hard to draw? <laughs> it's so hard to draw. A four-headed creature. So he has four faces to punch. <laughs> yeah, Revan, exactly. That's the spirit. That's, what's com that's what comics are missing these days. Okay, how am I going to do this now? So I imagine this is that part here. Bicep part here, so that's probably gonna have to increase the size of this. Here we go. Okay. And because now we decided to give him four hands in this one. Or fingers, rather. Oh, good old anatomy. One thing for sure, this is exercising the anatomy skills. Woo. Four hands here, four arms there. I love him. So much fun. So much fun. Okay, so let's get another tentacle then. Coming down here. And again, this card is not available right now. But it will be available on tonight's closeout stream. Make it like these things are slimy and wet. We'll get some. Remember by beast. But I'm not a spiderologist. I think uh, spiders have eight legs and, and, and no arms. Hmm. Let's see. Googling now, but Spellcheck is looking at me sideways. <laughs> I don't know by beast And G Buddha Bear, good to see you. I don't know if I, I, think I said hello, hello to you twice, but you deserve it. Uh, by beast Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what is he from? He's from... He's a... Oh, wow. I don't remember Bybeast. Oh, what a cool-looking character. Two heads on top of each other. That's great. 
That's really nuts. Oh, Incredible Hulk. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, we could, we could play with something like that. That's the fun part about the OB stuff. It's just like, there's so much room to play. Even more so, you know? Because, like, the rules are a little bit more anything goes kind of thing. Not that it. Not that, uh, that's not the case with, um, the, the main storyline, but. Uh, it's just a lot more play. Big creatures, what happened in those savage times. The savage lands of Mordren. Uh, I had teeth here, but now I don't know if that's going to be clear. So maybe anything... Anything goes! There you go. Maybe we should just stick with... More tentacles kind of whipping. I'm going to make them really lumpy. And we'll add lots of texture when we start putting the highlights. Okay, the Thor villain, I think. Hmm. I, I, I could only imagine, Seer. I was terrified as well. <laughs> I typed in Bybees and ended up somewhere naughty. I was hesitant myself. I was like, what is... The, what, I don't know. What is Dr. Mass getting me in trouble with? Is he trying to demonetize this channel? Is he my, my secret arch villain? But no, not the case. That is a really cool looking creature. Get some tentacles wrapping around tentacles. Yeah, look at that. Let's go. If we're not having fun, what's the point? We need to have fun. And you know what? I'm having fun. I told you. Uh, Picasso said you got to channel that energy and creativity of a child because it's so pure. And as adults, we spend most of our time trying to rediscover it as we kill it. Now, I'm not saying that uh, everyone's got to be, a man's got to remain a child. Absolutely not. But, especially when it comes to creativity, you're not doing this because you're not having fun. I mean, come on. Okay, got it. All right, so what was that book about a giant simpleton kid and a kid in a wheelchair became friends and worked as one? I don't know that one. Ah, see everyone on the auction. Gotta call the old lady so can spend the evening losing cards to Cigar Gangster and pages to Paul Wayne says. <laughs> but you know what? It'll be entertaining, Wayne. <laughs> It makes for some great auction entertainment. Oh, hilarious. We'll see you there, Wayne. Thank you, brother. Uh, I don't know a giant simpleton kid and a kid in a wheelchair. 
and work there's one I don't know of mice and men <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not sure okay teeth time so Primor has teeth fang there fang there so three in the middle and then two big ones on the end same for the bottom hey paul what's going on <laughs> hey paul i wonder if that means he likes the card not sure master blaster what's that I think that means he likes it this is going to be available tonight <sighs> who run barter town the giant would put the other kid in his shoulders and would be the brains of the two i have no idea no idea is it a fantasy like do they enter a fantasy world Master Blaster. I don't know this. What year do you think, Buddha? I don't know this film. I don't know the film. So they worked as one. Hmm. Okay. get this so like i said starting next week i'll be working on all of the commissions so i'll, I'll contact everyone or if you if you if you know now of course what you want you could just you could just mail me and let me know oh whoa uh, let me know if you guys could hear me wow i just had like a shock in my ear from the i think there was a what do you call a um oh my goodness what do you call it uh you get a, a shock i guess a shock so the sound went out in my ear let me know if you can still hear me Okay, just let me know. Oh, I can hear you. Okay, good, good. Thank goodness. I think that's what causes sometimes whenever I lose the um, the mic. I don't think it's the, the the fault of the mic now. I. Oops, something's going on. What's that fire department? Um. Yeah, I think what happens is like this static and all of a sudden I get like a shock and then zoop, the mic needs to be unplugged and plugged back in. The rest of the world can hear you. <laughs> That's true. Never know where these are, where they're reaching. Does that, uh, I want to see, I'm not sure if that Planet of the Apes movie comes out this week. No, or not. I'm probably going to, I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'll go see it. I'll see like reviews first, but I don't know. I am intrigued. I watched the um, the original last night while I was drawing. I was like, oh man, I love these movies. Uh, let's see. Hey, what's going on, Elk of Antioch? 
That's a great quote most people seem to forget. Yeah, what movie is that from? The rest of the world can hear you. Oh, no, is that a... Wait a minute, no. Was that from a president? Oh, GW. Oh, yeah, George Bush. Right? George, George, wait, right? GW. Yeah, that's right. I do remember that. I don't know why I read that as great. But yes, I do remember that. Yeah. September 12th, yeah. I remember. So, so you guys know, in terms of the cards, what I'm doing, these are actually going to be in sequence. So we have the battle here with the tentacle monster. And then here we're going to have the aftermath with like, he's hanging, he's holding half like a dangling broken piece of the tentacle. And he's just covered in, in guts. Uh, let's see. What is that? Uh, it's a fiction, but a, what is this? Is this the, the giant would... I don't even know what where uh, the book. I don't know the dates of the film or the book. Oh man. Oh, okay, it's that story that you're trying to remember. Uh, unfortunately, I can't help you. I wish I could. Dang. The last thing I'll say about that 76 version of Kong, I have to say, I, I never quite understood my cousins for um, always being so interested in Jessica Lange because I was never really, I didn't grow up with that movie. But I remember I had a cousin who was just, you know, he thought she was like gorgeous. And when I saw finally saw the movie, I was like, oh, wow, was like, she looks good. <laughs> Jessica Lange looks good. You know, I only I always saw her in movies much later in her life. And not to say that she's not an attractive woman. I mean, she is, but I understood when I saw the 76 Kong. Let's just put it that way. It all made sense. It all made sense. Okay, uh, that gentleman looks like he is regretting ordering the tentacle optional. <laughs> I know the tentacle optional extra at a Japanese love hotel. Oh my goodness, Elk of Antioch! How would you know that's an option, my friend? I have so many questions. How would you know? And give me the address of this hotel immediately. Asking for a friend. How come you have been withholding this wonderful establishment? <laughs> you selfish, selfish man. Thought we were all friends here. Unbelievable. You think you know someone. Oh, man. Okay. Almost done. <laughs> Elk is a man of culture, Bingo says. <laughs> Can't argue there. Uh, hurry up, Broccoli. The auction starts in an hour. Ah, I'm not going to be able to get this one done. Ah. Too much chit-chatting. Too much chit-chatting. Guys distracted me about all these hotels. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Oh, well, no, we need some more of this. 
Some of that. Okay, wow, this this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Ooh, here we go. So again, this card will be available tonight. This one will probably be available tomorrow. That's the plan. Tis, excuse me, the plan. I feel like I should just make this mouth a little. Too much jibber jatter, as the kids say. I know, I know. Okay, let's do this. So much seltzer. My bladder is competing with my bladder at the moment. Okay, so let's get that going in there. Oh. Could be fighting the tether itself. Primor will face everything that Blood Realm has to offer. It's gonna throw everything it's got at Primor. Okay. Hmm. Make the nose a little bigger. that tooth there we go kind of needs a little bit more apish fe features he was looking a little too human for me uh let's see what time is this much rumored auction it's at 8 30. Your work table looks like an archetype of what an artist's work table should be. Oh, yeah. I'm honored. I will not argue there. There we go. Needed more apish features. Okay. What time is it? One hour for the auction. This closeout stream auction. Oh, so exciting. So I will have some pages, of course. I will have some... Um, I'll have some pages. I'll have some cards. And I will have... Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I got. Back in there with the black just to punch that now. Some, oh, there we go. A little bit more intense circles under the eyes. Whenever I say not too much, it takes me right back to that sign, uh, not Seinfeld, the Austin Powers. And Phillips, I think he says Phillips, feed my fish. Not too much. I'm off to London, England. Oh, 
Oh, it looks even better now. Okay, it looks like it is made up of dark images of spirits covered by smears of blood. Well, you know what? Your, uh, your eyes did not deceive you, my friend. Uh, uh, Reverend Sa Saber says, will you have original art tonight? Yes, I will. I will have some original art tonight as well. Absolutely. As always, watching a blank card transition to a master work of art in an hour is always amazing. Oh, too kind, my friend. You're too kind. Thank you so much. I, I, that, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I want to get a little highlight on that nose. little highlight on that nose. So let's do it. Oh, wait, we also need some speed lines. Yeah, for this one, I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to put the white. Well, maybe I'll decide to do it later. I feel like now he's popping nice, you know. Just a couple of little lines here of urgency and... I think that's good for now. Okay. Pass it sideways, anything goes. I rolled some good smoke, but no masterpiece. Oh my goodness. Pass it sideways, anything goes. Oh my goodness. What are we promoting on this channel? Complete debauchery. Not leaving till I get a highlight on that nose. Where is my good pen? Oh, here it is. All right, found it. Excuse me a minute, folks have to sharpen this okay all right got a touch of white so delicate on there let's see i always talk about how i can get a nice little line all right i'm not gonna talk dot more dot more just need a dot more But it's incense, Dad. <laughs> you kids these days. You ruffians. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, got it. Got it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, man. That required concentration. Concentration. Just want a little dot of splatter, and then it is time to get ready for the auction. Calm down. Calm down. 
to control. There we go. All right. Huh. Done. Holy smokes. That was a doozy. That was, twas a doozy. But we did it. We did it. All right. All right, everybody. Wow. Woo. We finished Primor fighting another creature. And he looks good. Yeah, good. All right. I have to stop. Otherwise, I'll keep going. Okay. All right, guys. Can't wait for the auction tonight. It's going to be so much fun. I'll have artwork. I'll have... Uh, sketch cards well artwork as an original pages i'm really looking forward to it thank you so much for watching um today's um stream let's see it's oh okay you're teaching tongue folk heroes like john henry and paul bunyan <laughs> very nice <laughs> all right guys we'll have a great great hour before i see you guys at the auction tonight at 8 30 on the alterna comics channel it's the blood realm close out art auction stream can't wait Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you guys tonight. Bye-bye.